Hello, my name is Mike Kanufke. I'm with the San Antonio Family Association, one of the many members of the Stop Planned Parenthood Co Coalition here in San Antonio. And we put these uh, videos together to help you get a better idea of what's taking place here in San Antonio, to bring up the knowledge of what the city is, is doing and how you can help. This topic is the zoning verification letter. This is a very important um, topic when it comes to what's taking place at 2140 Babcock. You see, in a prior uh, video, we talked about when the announcement came out from the Express News, San Antonio Express News, on October 11th, uh, touting and a absolutely uh, excited about Planned Parenthood's new headquarters at 2140 Babcock. So the Express News and Planned Parenthood had this big spread on, hey, we've got a new facility. And the whole idea behind that is, <clears throat> once we learned of that facility, we immediately went to work and tried to discover what is taking place. And that first meeting that we had with Ron Nuremberg's staff, chief of staff, uh, Mays, along with John Jacks and Kat Hernandez from the city and some others, our biggest issue was zoning. How can this possibly take place where the killing of actual human life is within 50 feet of the sanctity of someone's home in the Dream Hill Estate uh, subdivision? How's that possible? And so <clears throat> what they did is they said, well, we'll get back with you after this meeting in early November of 2014. We'll get back with you in, within a week or so is what John Jacks told us. Well, as you can imagine, just like anything else, the city draws this stuff out so that you eventually just lose patience or they hope that you just go away. Well, we kept after them. Uh, one week later, we called. He said, well, I hadn't had a chance, but I'll get to it right away. Two weeks went by. You know, I really didn't get a chance and, and Thanksgiving's coming up. It was this time last year, as a matter of fact. Um, we uh, will get back with you. After Thanksgiving, we started pressing harder and harder and harder. On December 16th, our attorney received this particular email, and I realize you can't read it from there, but I'll read it to you. <clears throat> it's from John Jacks. It is not an official city um, email, as you can see. It doesn't have any, any uh, uh, fancy logos or anything of that sort. Anyway, it was sent to uh, our attorney, and it reads, the Development Services Department has reviewed the project the proposed use currently under construction at 2140 Babcock Road and is found it to be in compliance with all applicable building and zoning regulations. Thank you very much, John Jack's assistant director. So <clears throat> as you can imagine, it was like, wow, there still has to be something there. How can this be possible? They're killing babies within 50 feet of someone's home. Well, as we were starting to dig and try and locate what's going on here, you can imagine our surprise when just five short days later, five short days later, on December 22nd, 2014, we receive in the mail this official, with stationery, from the City uh, Development Services Department, and this is from Trenton Robertson. Trenton Robertson was the senior planner. And our attorney, the same attorney, asked, hey, how is this possible? And I'm not going to read the whole letter to you, but I will read this piece to you here because that's what's pertinent. It reads, the use of professional office and laboratory testing are permitted uses within C1 base zoning district. However, and that's the kicker, however, cold storage, Medical surgery facility and a hospital are not permitted uses within C1 base zoning district. And what is 2140 Babcock zoned as? C1. Forget the fact that it is more than 5,000 square feet, it's 22,300 square feet facility. Forget the fact of some of these other issues, but right here in their own writing, you can see that they said the cold storage and the medical uh, surgery are not permitted uses within C1 base zoning district. So they have currently, the city of San Antonio has proposed language to amend this language for 
Commercial One, to allow ambulatory surgery centers, abortion facilities, to open up in any neighborhood or right next to any neighborhood that they choose, as long as it's C1, C2, C3. And so we're asking you to feel confident to go down and speak December 9th and December 10th when they vote down at the city chambers and encourage them to vote no for this because no one wants a abortion facility outside their neighborhood. As a matter of fact, a vote for the redefined ambulatory surgery center amendment language that they're looking at is indeed a vote for Planned Parenthood. Encourage your council member and uh, Mayor Ivy Taylor to vote no for the amended language. Thank you.